So one of the things that you want to do, um, ensure a workout or while you're working out is, um, <clears throat> have some branch chain amino acids. Um, now one thing that I wanted to, to talk about in this video real quick is some of them. BCAs can be expensive. Uh, and the thing about it is, is if you are already, uh, if you are already, um, getting enough protein, you don't totally need BCAAs. They're good for you, obviously, but if you're not, I mean, if you're, if you're getting a ton of protein throughout the day, like I tend to get about 200 grams a day. Um, I'm on a very, very high protein diet. So I get a lot of protein. I mean, that comes from, um, from supplementation. So I drink a lot of protein shakes. But I also eat a lot of lean meats and stuff, which is what you're supposed to do. So if you're getting enough protein, uh, BCAAs really aren't going to help much. EAAs, essential amino acids, which contain BCAAs in them, yeah, yeah, they're, they're always good to have. So, um, That comes to or come to the topic of this video here. I use BCAs and I use EAs, essential amino acids. I use them for <clears throat> for a reason. It helps me not drink like sodas and stuff. Uh, these are flavored, they're sweetened, um, they, they're good. I like them. Okay. I like to, I like to drink them. I have them intra workout. So I drink them a lot during my workouts. So what do we have here? We've got... Cellucor's C4 or uh, BCA. This is the cherry limeade flavor. What do I think about this? So it's an NSF certified ingredient, so it's certified safe for sports. There's no banned substances in here or anything. <sighs> And with that said, with this said here, I recommended this to somebody the other day. Um, somebody, one of my coworkers, that has kind of seen what I've been doing. And they're asking questions now. They want to, you know, they were starting to work out and stuff. They got uh, sore, stuff like that. I recommended the Cellucor BCAAs to him. He's a beginner. Technically, I'm probably still a beginner, too. It's okay. Um, I don't like this one. I finished it. Ah. There's a tiny little bit of powder in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I may have to, you know, I don't want to waste anything. So I'm going to have to make a drink with it today. But I wasn't a big fan of that one. And I'll tell you why. Um, it's not because I use a more expensive brand, but I do. Um, I just... Number one, I don't think it tasted great. And... If something doesn't taste good, you don't really want it, right? 
And if it's something that's meant to take me or that I'm using it to take me away from like soda and stuff like that, then then I want it to taste good. And it didn't. I don't think it did anyway. Um, I think it's just something with C4 or uh, <sighs> so you course flavorings because don't none of their stuff taste good. None of it. Um, but I also didn't really feel like this was very effective for me. It's a two to one to one ratio, um, which maybe that's why on this, I didn't really see a ton more muscle build or lean muscle mass or lean mass, um, I didn't see a ton of that. I mean, obviously, I don't have a ton of it now. But I do, you know, there are gains. And it's your whole plan. It's your, your pre, your intra, and your post gym that matters. It's all of it. Um, an intra, what you drink these for is, essentially, when you're in the gym, you're tearing muscle down. Okay, so when you're adding your protein shake and your amino acids to it, intro workout, what you're supposed to be doing is um, as the muscle starts to repair, you're giving it the the nutrition that it needs to be able to repair better. Um, like, for instance, you can actually feel um, like... You can actually feel like when a muscle is, you can feel when a muscle is repairing itself or healing, I guess, you know. Anyway, what I'm saying is, is this didn't do what I needed it to do. I would not, I would not recommend it later.